Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our talk show. It's your host, Mr. Satura. On studio, I have my amazing guest. Let them introduce themselves. I'm Jay Sangwe, John Madara, Hilda Dagoa. On today's talk show, we have trending and amazing topics, one of them being sponsors. We find that the girls in the campuses or the boys have their sugar daddies or rather sugar mummies. So my, my beautiful guests, what do you have to say on those topics? And as ladies and uh, other youths, want a life so easy and they want uh, materialistic stuff, that's why they are busy looking for sugar daddies and sugar mummies so that they can meet that kind of lifestyle. I think it's the pressure that is put to us that at 30 you're supposed to get this money. You know that posh lifestyle celebrities live. It's making us as youth think that we need to get that money. And when someone offers it, offers it to us, we take it quickly. I think the reason why people opt to for sugar mommy or people who are older than them is because they want uh, uh, to show the other people that. Uh, we have it all in, in control and they uh, want to have that innovation life, lifestyle. They don't get satisfied with whatever they are given to, so they opt for other means to get the money to do to live that extraordinary life. So you mean by saying that the students in campuses opt to have the sugar daddies or sugar money because they are not provided back at home. So it's basically from home or they just want something extra. I think that they want something extra because they're not even contented with mm -hmm. the things that they are given yeah. from home. Yeah. Uh, basis of somebody back at home doesn't have the last lifestyle that they want. Can it be a major influence? Like that's what is influencing them to get that lavish life. Yeah, because they want to belong in certain category. Mm -hmm. So they, because they are not, they can't afford it at home. They prefer to get the money elsewhere in order to belong in a certain category of students or, or who think they have it all in under control. So but I think that is the reason why. But it's not only the, the only reason. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can find in a relationship, maybe both of you cannot afford it. So you agree on each other and you take sugar mommy, you mm -hmm. go and look for sugar daddy. The money they give us to support each other, to gain your money, say, you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So basically relationships in campus, you can't find somebody well off at your age, you must opt to look for an older age. You know, people are depending on their parents right now as students. Maybe at a like a hassle or job you have is not giving you as much as you opt to. So you just opt for the easier route and you go for the Wababas and the Stampers. Basically, yeah. um, what do you think that will make this culture come to an end? Because like there is rapid cases of girls having sponsors, you find that, and right now it has shifted to like, but also the male figure having like the sugar mummies. So what do you think like it's best to stop the culture? I think old people mm -hmm. should uh, behave. <laughs> behave because they're the reason. If an old, if a young girl or a young man goes to an old person, old older person, and says, you know, I like you, and the young man says, or the old person says, go read. Stop. This is bad manners. I'm not of your age. If they are married, they say, I am married. I'm faithful to my wife. I'm faithful to my husband. This will curb this thing because if they don't do that, they are encouraging the young ones, the youths, as like us, to go to them and to enter into a relationship with them. Okay. Also, loyalty. People should be loyal to their partners. They should just be contented with what they have. They should not opt to go outside and look for something more. That's that's not that's bad manners. So for you, mm -hmm. my guest today, you're saying no to our babas and yeah, yeah she no, we, we, we do not support it. We don't support it, and we advise our dear listeners: don't support it. Don't. Let's just engage it. it. Because you know, I had actually been with the babas or mama. It's like prostitution, mm -hmm. but now it's it's a like literally prostitution because you're being paid to sleep with them. And there's also another issue about contraceptives. We find like there's a survey that we took uh, around the schools, mm -hmm. around the off campus, like uh, around this uh, outside the chemist. There's some statistics that show that there is an increase of students purchasing the contraceptives. So, what's your view about that? This is the way unwanted pregnancies. Like, I feel like I will support it, I wouldn't mind for people to take contra contraceptives because mm -hmm. they're not yet ready to become parents, they're still young. So, go take those contraceptives. <laughs> 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 
that's her view. That's yeah. her view. Uh, my view is okay. I think oh, okay. I know this is going to sound weird, but sexual immorality that is sexual that's fornication. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's fornication. Yeah. So in my view, I think the best thing to do is that thing, but eh, the rate the rate at which young youths are purchasing mm-hmm. contraceptives is Salami. too much. It's yeah. alarming, yo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just held our guest. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Besides, prevention is better than cure. Yeah. If you take contraceptive, you prevent your non unwanted pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, mm-hmm. then you will be desperate and then they opt for, the, uh, for abortion, which is not good. Yeah. Okay. As for me, obviously, all of you will have different views. Yes. Yeah. And uh, there's only something called plan A, plan B, and plan C. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my mind, I'm thinking there's always plan one. This plan one, like, what should we? Why should we not abstain from it so that you can avoid the That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Because contraceptives are actually dangerous for you. Mm-hmm. If you take them too much, mm-hmm. you can you can get infertile, mm-hmm. or you can have problems, get cervix cancer, mm-hmm. or have problems with your uterus and stuff. So the uh, should the chemists or pharmacists be selling to students? Oh. I don't think they should. But you know, it's actually difficult to know mm-hmm. if someone is not married at a young age. Mm-hmm. Because now people are getting married very easy. Yeah. They have come with stay. So you might see this young person, maybe 19 or 18, and they're already married. Mm-hmm. So you refuse to give them. It's like you're refusing them the right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, on the types of the contraceptives, which one do you prefer? In Nenda Kumuwa to 50 Bob Ama, there are IEDs that, that you've injected for nine months or like a period of something. Which one do you like kind of seem to like your views? <laughs> Um, I think for students, they will go for the quicker one. Mm-hmm. The one that uh, they will, it's uh, easily accessible. The one you are curious to. Oh, Is it the 250? The 250? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, most, most people would prefer the ones that take long or are used, uh, they prevent the pregnancy for a longer period of time. So I think that some people would prefer IUDs from the quicker one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, I think also I think people will also prefer IEDs because the other one for taking every every time, every time will also damage you. So they feel like you know the safer side is the one for IEDs. Mm-hmm. But you know it's students and you're looking at something economic mm-hmm. friendly to so mm-hmm. friendly. So there's the uh, the the ones that all those, the tablets mm-hmm. are two fifty shillings mm-hmm. and the IEDs. Don't you think that the IEDs are quite expensive for the university students? Mm-hmm. Do you know the people who are sleeping in this student? <laughs> Most of them are sponsored. Mm-hmm. To be realistic mm-hmm. or they are guys or boyfriends, right? The boyfriend might have the money because he doesn't want to be a father. Mm-hmm. So he will look for the money and tell me, you know what, go and get this. Oh. So the sponsor will be like, no, go and get this thing. Mm-hmm. So they are safe. Mm-hmm. In the money side, they are okay. I am I am just suspecting. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So um, before we finish la, our talk show today, you guys are so amazing. What is your final like, statement that can end the show? I feel like we should abstain from sex mm-hmm. and we should uh, be morally upright and avoid the pressure that comes from social media. Just be you, be yourself and focus on better bettering yourself and your life. Yeah, I know, Baba's amazing. I think that if you want to enter a relationship, don't enter it. You can love someone without sex and sex is put for marriage, for people who are married, spouses. Mm-hmm. So now you can date, get to know each other because imagine giving yourself to someone as a girl, mostly, you give yourself to someone and then you break up. When you go to your husband, your husband is like, oh, you're not clean. He'll have that in the mind, although they don't say it, but he'll have it in the mind and he'll be like, how many have you slept with? Even if you may just have slept with one. Mm-hmm. You just abstain and stay safe because you don't know how many people Someone will sleep with you and then choose you for a little bit. Just stay safe. Stay. I will say if you are in a position to abstain, please go ahead. But if you can't, then you better take care of yourself and your partner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that was the talk show for today. I had amazing guests. Make sure to tune in next time. Thank you. Bye.